first state about the solar cells before going to discuss about the system it is important to discuss about the theoretical parts like at what principle the system is working here here we are using the photovoltaic cells this is called the solar cells according to the einstein einstein was was the scientist who explained about the photovoltaic cells applications like photo he explained about the photovoltaic effect how the photovoltaic effect is working according to the einstein he explained that if there are photovoltaic materials then if the if the light is if the light energy is coming then this material star the, the electrons the some suppose the here is the end part of the material and here is the p type of material like in the n type of material the n is it is in majority and p is the in the p type of material p is the in the majority form now when the light is coming from the top this is called the light energy when the light energy coming and go, going from and hitting to the sample and going to the other direction that time the the light photon is giving the energy to the materials and this electron has start flowing in the loops after that here we are using the same photovoltaic cells and the all we are connected together then the what application will be happening here when the light will be when the light will be fall to the our sample then sample this uh, solar cell get excited and they start the electron will start move in they will start move in the loops okay second point we are using here the artificial lights artificial lights we are using here artificial light to give the light to our samples next first this is the this is the theory about the equipment the, like at what principle it is working we are using the solar cells made by the silicon materials and we are giving the light because here we are going to do our objectives of the solar cells characterizations then we know the solar cells they when the electron will be start flowing in the loop then according to the definition of the current the rate of change of electron is called current when the current will be start moving throughout the loop then we require to store materials for storing our flow of current we require the battery then what is the setup here for doing the overall experiment we require the light source because the solar cell is excited by the light source second part is the solar plates or yeah, solar cells okay then second what is the contradiction like what is the second point we require to calculate when the light is coming to the cells then we really don't know what intensity they are giving there because we know the intensity of the light depend on the length example suppose i am standing for example i am standing near to the 10 meter for example i am from the source i am here by the 10 meter if i go 1 kilometer far away then the light intensity will be vary then suppose i am giving the 100% light power in the light then how much we are receiving here to our cells then we are using this flux meter this flux meter they are just calculating how much intensity is receiving here then second first we already discuss about the light source solar solar plates and this is the called flux meter then what the variable parameter here either we can make the more angle here first conditions or yeah, second condition we can move this part to closer to the light source okay in the both cases this setup is generally made for the student study like to understand how the photovoltaic cell is working then when the current is coming out from the cells then we have to require the controlling parts like how when uh, suppose i am charging for a uh, for hour then it's going to the battery but without controlling i without controlling electronics how they will control the charge for that we require the one controller parts here there are two kinds of controller the first controller is this is called the data logger and second is the called main controller in the main controller we are just is using for the controlling the overall process overall process means how much 
light intensity is coming to the cells and how much they, they are releasing the electron over overall process. The third point, this, this data logger, this is the top point, this is called the data logger. The data logger application we are using to connect the system with our, our PC. For that, we require the softwares and the connections. This data logger have the all connections which we are doing here means they have the connection with how much intensity is coming to the solar cells and how here in the back side of the solar cell they using the thermocouples to measure the temperature of the solar cells because we know this is artificial lights and the, when the artificial light will be hit to the our same uh, to the our solar cell they will generate the temperatures then we know the semiconductor materials is also depend on the temperatures so uh, then if the temperature increase the the electrons the uh, elect the, the force between the molecule to molecule they will be become less then electron start moving faster then the semiconductor material depend on the temperatures for that we are also using in the back side we are using the thermo thermocouple to measure the what is the temperature we are receiving here and this thermocouple couple is connected with our controller the second point we know when suppose uh, suppose i am receive, uh, receiving the charge to our battery then we can use the different purpose different different purpose of the work first purpose either we can use to uh, on the lights like we can use the bulbs okay second we can use the different loads it's our depend on our applications suppose this solar cell either you can fix to our home application also suppose you buy 50 numbers of this kind of solar cell and you can put your to to your home and you can use these lights next this part this we discuss about the solar cells solar cells flux meter thermo uh, thermocouple backside down controller uh, data logger and uh, there are two parameters are still remaining the one parameter is called battery and second parameter is called the test load the battery we are using here to store the charge and the second the test load we are using to characterize our solar cells okay then this is the all about the equipment and the application we already discussed what is the application and we know the in the real life everywhere the people is people is using the solar cell in the different industry even in the uh, even in the one more very good application for solar cells uh, the people is uh, in the uh, just i missed the one points the just this solar cell uh, satellites there when they are making the satellites uh, satellite circuits and there's the the scientists sending the equipment outside of the earth orbit orbits that time they are using the solar cells for making the charge and discharge the electronic circuit inside because there we cannot give the external power by the form of the battery because you know the battery have the some time period to discharge then without giving the external energy to the battery, external charge to the battery, they will not get charged again. For that, the satellites, equipment, the people is using the solar cells applications so that the, this electronics part will be, will be work long time. In the solar cell also, there are different types, there are different type of solar cell available in the market. Here we are using the silicon solar cell. Even there in the market, there is the organic solar cell. And people are doing research. In the 1921, the Einstein got the Nobel Prize due to this photovoltaic uh, effect. He explained and he got the Nobel Prize. After that, there a lot of development came in the field of the solar cell. That is a very nice application for the solar cells. Even in the real life, the people is trying to use this solar cell because there are low maintenance costs and very easy to install and and they have the long time work uh, work life without giving the external maintenance suppose we are using the light by form of 
the generator, yeah, electrical generator, any kind of generator is required to give the external energy to continue long time. But this system have the very less maintenance and good applications. That's we are here to discuss about the system and to teach to the student how the photovoltaic cells and application is working. This is all about the systems. Next, we have to move to the, our software parts. How we are connecting? For the connecting the software, I am using the USB cable till to our uh, till to our uh, CPU. There I have already installed the software. Then now we have to discuss how the software is working. Okay. Moment. 